Hi, on January 24th, 2024, NPR reported that religious nuns are now the largest single group in the U.S. When Americans are asked to check a box indicating their religious affiliation, 28% now check none. A new study from Pew Research finds that the religiously unaffiliated, a group comprised of atheists, agnostics, and those who say their religion is nothing in particular, is now the largest cohort in the U.S., the more prevalent among American adults than Catholics, who are 23%, or evangelical Protestants, who are 24%. Back in 2007, nuns made up just 16% of Americans, but Pew's new survey of more than 3,300 U.S. adults shows that the number has now risen dramatically. Researchers refer to this group as nuns. Pew asked respondents what, if anything, they believe. The research organization found that nuns are not a uniform group. Most nuns believe in God or another higher power, but very few attend any kind of religious service. They aren't all anti-religious. Most nuns say religion does some harm, but many also think it does some good. Most have more positive views of science than those who are religiously unaffiliated. However, they reject the idea that science can't explain everything. Nuns could prove to be an important political group. Gregory Smith at Pew was the lead researcher on the study titled Religious Nuns in America, Who They Are and What They Believe. He says the growth of nuns could affect American public life. We know politically, for example, Smith says, that religious nuns are very distinctive. They are among the most strongly and consistently liberal and democratic constituencies in the United States. And that could change electoral politics in the coming decades. The political power of white evangelicals has been well reported in recent decades, but their numbers are shrinking while the number of the more liberal nuns is on the rise. However, Smith points out that nuns are also less civically engaged than those who would identify with a religion. They're less likely to vote. So while they identify as Democrats, getting them to the polls on election day may prove to be a challenge. Within the nuns, however, atheists and agnostics are more likely to be politically and civically engaged, whereas those who responded that their religion is nothing in particular are far less likely to vote. Pew also found that overall, nuns are less likely to volunteer in their local communities than religiously affiliated adults. Logic and avoiding harm help moral decision-making beyond their numbers and their behaviours. Pew also asked respondents what they actually believe. The survey found nuns are less satisfied with their local communities and less satisfied with their social lives than religious people. While many people of the faith say they rely on scripture, tradition and the guidance of religious leaders to make moral decisions, Pew found that nuns say they're guided by logic or reason when making moral decisions, and huge numbers say the desire to avoid hurting other people factors prominently in how they think about right and wrong, says Smith. People of faith also say they use logic and the avoidance of harm to make decisions, but those factors are in concert with religious tradition and scripture. Nuns tend to be young, white, and male. Demographically, nuns also stand out from the religiously affiliated. Nuns are young. 69% are under the age of 50. They're also less racially diverse. 63% of nuns are white. Similarly, studies by Pew and other groups such as the Public Religion Research Institute have found that people of colour are more likely to say religion is important in their lives. But Smith says, to keep in mind that the nuns are comprised of three distinct groups, atheists, agnostics, and those who describe themselves as nothing in particular. Nuns who describe themselves as atheist or agnostic are far more likely to be white. People who describe their religion as nothing in particular are more likely, says Smith, to be black or Hispanic 
or Asian. At first glance, nuns appear to be evenly divided by gender, but digging deeper into the data shows that men are significantly more likely to say they're atheist or agnostic, whereas women are more likely to describe their religion as nothing in particular. Smith says that's consistent with other research as well, which shows women tend to be more religious on average than men.